Hey, uh, today I'm talking about these classics, the Red Wing Iron Rangers. These are in copper rough and tough leather. Uh, I did have about four or five years ago a pair in amber harness, but they were on the old cork nitrile sole and I had a couple of really bad uh, slips and falls in the winter in those. I was not a fan of that outsole. Um, so when they started building them on the Vibram 430, uh, I waited till I had an opportunity to sold the old ones and uh, was able to pick these up. Had them about a year and a half, worn them quite a bit. Uh, and I just wanted to go over how they're looking and just a little bit about the features of the Iron Ranger because uh, they're just a really great boot, um, made in USA, great quality leather. Uh, so if you're into uh, you know Goodyear welted footwear, there are uh, lots of options out there and uh, the Red Wing Iron Ranger is definitely a popular one. So as mentioned, these are in copper rough and tough leather uh, and I'm a fan of, I've got uh, a few different pair of Red Wings, but SB Foot Tannery, I'm just a really big fan of their leathers. They're super hardy, really hard wearing, uh, and then they're really easy to replenish and bring back to life with just a good cleaning condition. I don't condition my boots too often, uh, once, maybe twice a year, or if you know they get uh, super muddy and I have to really give them a deep clean and they get wet, then I'll condition them afterwards. But uh, for the most part, once or twice a year, I'll condition them, um, but I will use a brush probably once a month uh, just to keep them clean. And I find that uh, just helps to kind of move the oils around, especially in a leather like the, uh, the Copper Rough and Tough. So uh, yeah, as mentioned, these are built on the Vibram 430. Uh, so that is just uh, you know a nice industry standard outsole. It gives you decent grip with the mini lugs. Um, you know the only thing I find with the mini lugs is you'll get little kind of stones and gravel caught up in there, uh, but it's easy just to kind of knock off. Uh, but I find it to be a comfortable outsole. It's got a decent amount of grip. The only thing I wish is that there was a, a midsole. There's no midsole in the Iron Ranger. But when I get these resold, that's easily remedied. I'll just have them add a leather midsole. So I've got another extra layer of comfort uh, as my foot imprints over time into the, uh, into the boot. So yeah, I'll get that done at some point. Um, but uh, right now these are still holding up and don't need to be resold just yet. It's a 270 de degree Goodyear welt. And yeah, it's, and it's decently well done. Iron Rangers are, you know, not known for the, the fine finishing. It's more of, of um, you know, a functional, functional uh, aspect that uh, these are resolable, well built, well made, um, and uh, yeah, the stitching's nice. It's even, and uh, it's holding up really well. Uh, you've got triple stitching throughout the leather upper, uh, and there's a nice contrast stitch through the middle row, which I think is just a, a nice uh, aesthetic choice. I think it looks cool, uh, and then the triple stitch is just uh, going to help hold this thing together. Uh, you can see the toe cap construction here, which I'd initially thought was a single layer, but uh, big thanks to Stolen Alias for pointing out that's a true toe cap double layer, uh, and it's stitched on there with four nice tidy rows of stitching. Um, we've got a parsley gusseted tongue. Uh, you've got nickel hardware that's really strong uh, and uh, has held up really well for me over time. And uh, the, the leather itself just has so much character as, uh, you know, as time has gone on and you can still see some of the areas where the, the copper leather is, um, or the copper tones are still uh, coming through, but it's darkened up in a lot of areas there as well. And it just, uh, I think in terms of how it looks, it's looking great, um, but it's also just uh, holding up really well against the elements. So um, yeah, the Red Wing Iron Ranger are running uh, right now for, Typically around 430 bucks Canadian. Uh, most of the retailers around here are gonna hit you up for around 430. Uh, so they're on the expensive side. Uh, and like I said, the one thing I wish I would see in these boots for that price point is a leather midsole. But you do get, you know, a nice quality outsole with a Vibram. Goodyear welted so they can be resold and rebuilt when the time comes. Uh, you've got a full leather insole, which I love. A lot of boots will have some type of a cushion aspect to it, you know, pour on or, you know, some kind of foam, which uh, I'm not a fan of. Um, it's not uh, a make or break for me, but I definitely prefer the leather insole. And, and, you know, this boot is a perfect example where initially the first, probably the first two months, 
Um, they weren't, it wasn't an uncomfortable break-in for me. The, the amber harness ones were not a great break-in process, but this leather here for some reason um, just kind of became uh, nice and soft and malleable much quicker. But the insole after a couple of months is just one of my most comfortable pairs of boots and, and on any pairs that I have the leather insole, it's been the same experience. So that's my preference. Uh, so I like having that and you get really, really high quality leathers from SB Foot Tannery. Um, you know, the triple stitch construction. So these things are going to hold together um, and made in, in uh, Red Wing, Minnesota, made in USA. So, I, I, you know, that uh, is also going to add some money to the price tag because it's just more expensive to build things in North America. So the Red Wing Iron Ranger, I'm a big fan, wear them a ton, uh, get mixed reactions when I wear them for sure. Uh, it's just a, you know, a classic design. You know, a friend of mine asked if I was uh, working at a Pioneer Village or something like that. So you still have that same, you know, these things were designed for iron workers in the 30s. So uh, you still have that same classic uh, work boot rounded toe design. Uh, but that's something that I really love. I think it looks great uh, and the rounder toe really works for my foot shape. So um, it's got sort of the aesthetic and um, the fit function for me. So uh, yeah, big fan of that. Big fan of the Iron Rangers. Really happy with how these have held up. Um, and um, yeah, looking forward to uh, keeping these things in the rotation and uh, putting lots more wear on them. So yeah, Red Wing Iron Ranger, great boot. Thanks so much for watching.